sounds of a train's horn and screams of panic. There are the sounds that led up to what you see here as a police cruiser got crushed by the impact of a train. Now we've shown you this video before more than once, but what we're going to show you is something you may find hard to watch. So we do want to warn you of that right now. What you will see is the moment the train crashed into that cruiser with a suspect inside. That suspect is alive. This happened a week ago in Weld County. Nine wants to know investigator Jeremy Hohola obtained this video. Jeremy, it's very intense. Yeah, let's set up what happened here just before the collision. Platteville police were responding to a 911 call about a road rage incident with a gun. They pulled over a 20 year old woman and parked their police cruiser right on the on the train tracks. Shortly after they cuffed her, they placed her in the police vehicle and then after that the train collided with the police car. We've obtained an eight minute clip edited and redacted by Fort Lupton police who also responded to this stop. This is some of what their body camera and dashboard camera captured. What you're seeing is police dashboard and body camera footage as Fort Lupton police help another police agency. They're responding to a road rage complaint involving a gun. I'm right behind you, Vasquez. I'm going to your passenger side. The Fort Lupton officer pulls up behind Platteville police. You can see their unit is parked right on train tracks during the stop. Turn around, turn around. Put your hands up higher. Keep your hands above your head. Don't move. What's going on? Why am I being... We'll explain everything in a second. That's 20-year-old Yareni Rios Gonzalez. Where are you taking me? We're taking you to the car. Come on. They placed her in the police car parked on the tracks. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me? No, ma'am, but can I please get my cell phone? We'll get your cell phone in a second. Is there any weapons in the car? Ready? No, ma'am, there's nothing on There's no weapons in the car? Officers began searching her truck for a gun. She could have because... And that's when you hear the first train horn in the distance. She could have tossed something, but I literally... Tossed it out the window? She could have, out that window, but... Who is, is that heart? No, that's a... Uh... to another officer's body cam. Move your car! Stay back! And then another edit to this dashboard camera showing another officer standing next to the unit as the train barrels down to the inevitable. Patrol car was just hit by a train. Chaos continues as police realize what happened. The clip is heavily edited, but we know the suspect is still alive in the mangled police unit. There may still be a firearm in the vehicle. I don't know if you guys have been through it yet. Weld County deputies show up and search the suspect's truck as medical uh, units respond. Money, so. One of them notes a weapon is found. There's your gun. Amazingly, Rios Gonzalez is alive with nine broken ribs, a broken arm, a fractured sternum, and numerous What's other that? injuries to her head, legs, and back. There may still be a firearm. Investigators with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation are looking into this incident. Our legal experts have called this extreme recklessness by police. It's possible they could face criminal charges. So far, the woman here, Rios Gonzalez, has not been charged for the road rage incident. The district attorney's office is reviewing that aspect of the case. Back to you.